About 35% of fatal crashes occur when vehicles run off the road. And because of that, concrete medians and metal guardrails are being built more than ever before. A road barrier with a bad design, for example, those from the 70s, can make a small accident fatal, increase the chance of a rollover, or stop a car quick enough to kill a driver on the spot. In the past, vehicles used to get crushed by road barriers, but today they simply bounce off and lose momentum. United States road barriers have been improved since the 60s. Each year, they're tested multiple times with a variety of vehicles to ensure they're staying up to date and to help brainstorm ideas for new designs. Road barriers exist to prevent drivers from getting off the road, driving into dangerous fields, buildings, water, the list goes on. But is it better to drive off the road onto a grass field where you can safely stop your car without getting injured or crash into the road barrier? Well, onto the grass, of course. That's why experienced engineers know where road barriers belong. It sounds a little unreal that something you will crash into while doing 60 miles an hour is supposed to save not only yours, but also the lives of other participants in traffic. It's true, however, design and efficiency of anything can be improved with some extra engineering care. Today's road barriers are the product of research on thousands of crashes, and its research has been done so well, they earned a reputation as a life-saving piece of highway equipment. They provide a shield, not only to those involved directly in crashes, but to pedestrians and property as well, making everyone feel safe. The road barriers of the newest generation work by redistributing impact in less harmful ways to drivers and absorbing as much shock as possible to lighten any blow to the car. It sounds too good to be true, but in reality, it's really simple. Let me explain this in a simple way. When a car hits a wall, it will be one accumulating all the energy, simply because the wall is stiff, and the whole car's momentum will bounce off that wall into the car, resulting in a fatal accident. Slight design updates of metal road barriers and different materials made them much more life-friendly. By making barriers from a softer material, we get two layers of energy energy absorption before any impact is passed on to the people in the vehicle. The first layer is the softening of the blow from the barrier itself. The guardrails and cement median barriers are angled in such a way and built to soak up and redirect energy. And the second layer of shock absorption will be from your car. That's how tiny changes make a big difference because everything matters in engineering and we know that details are most important. Old road barriers were known for making the accident worse, cutting through the car and sometimes even cutting it completely in half. Apart from the barriers we're used to seeing daily, there's one more type of barrier which uses rollers. Rollers accumulate even more momentum and slowly but safely bring a vehicle to a full stop while minimizing casualties on people and vehicles by absorbing collision shock. Sometimes they even safely lead a vehicle back onto the road without any bigger damage to the vehicle. These kinds of road barriers are used in places where accidents happen often. They're durable and do a great job. A one-time investment in one of these can last up to five years. Oh yeah, there's still a huge problem with road barriers. What if the car hits the end of the barrier? Actually, there was a huge problem, but a device called MSKT, which stands for MASH Sequential Kinking Terminal, solved it. The MSKT is a special part added to W-beam barriers that helps keep everyone safe. It's approved by Main Roads, which means it's a trusted way to make the barriers even better. When hit head-on, the MSKT distributes the kinetic energy by crushing the rail while shooting it to the side. MSKT is engineered in a way to be a much better collision point than a bent barrier that can easily cut through the car. What makes the MSKT even better is that it tenses the rail when it's hit, providing even more points that can accumulate momentum. In 2019, an estimated 6,555 lives were saved in Washington alone with the help of various safety features within the interstate highway system, keeping interstate travel significantly safer than on any other roads.